right. Oh God. I think that sexual phrases whoa. on this show, really? Sexual made you say whoa? I mean, I, this is like out the gates. No. So I didn't... I, no, you no, didn't say hear me out. You didn't say like. And you are going to hear me out. You feel me? Check this out. All right. I think we as a culture need new names for certain sexual acts. You know, okay. getting head, you know, uh, getting vagina, all that kind of stuff. Y'all be saying getting dick, getting penis. Mm -hmm. We need to we need to be more creative. So I think this is the show for us to introduce new options mm -hmm. okay yeah, i got a pretty good one what it all it all started from this so I'm trying to get that corn dog i don't hate it shish kebab i don't hate that one corn dog if you if you was telling your girls like you, you was leaving the party and you're like nah, i got a corn dog appointment <laughs> <laughs> He corn pulled, dog appointment is he crazy. He pulled out that corn dog and my eyes went. Boop. It didn't. It it, it 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 sounds cool and mm -hmm. corn dogs be some good lengths. They be thick too. Right. I don't hate that. Mm -hmm. From uh my my submission for the day is gonna be a, a replacement for getting head. For the man or the woman. For the man. Either way. But. I think there's a million names out there for y'all getting hit, but go ahead. Let but me I'm hear just it. saying, we need some new ones. Okay. I would like to put this on the sexual table. Uh, I was getting the buoy. <laughs> the buoy? Oh, because it'd be bopping up and down in the water? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I, was, I was getting the buoy. <laughs> Bitch, and I got down and I gave him the buoy. I was, <laughs> I was down there giving the buoy. And he exploded. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I had to call the Coast Guard. <laughs> she was giving me the buoy. The buoy. <laughs> you like it? I do. Only because I'm thinking of a buoy just going like this. They, be, they, you know? they never just, still. They, right. They're they, always, be, they be buoying. They're always bopping. they always bopping. You know, you that was my last the bop. That was my last su suggestion. I was getting that is, the bop. The, no, that is your term. That is not your suggestion. That is the start <laughs> to every one of your raps. I've only said that once. Well, I've heard you say it a million fucking times. Oh, well, I mean. I was getting the bop. That's, that's how fire. all your freestyles start. No, but I be freestyling that a lot. Let me, hear, let me hear a freestyle from you was getting the buoy. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I was getting I the buoy. I took my Asian girl to eat some chop suey. <laughs> <laughs> we, she took me to the back of the dojo, gave me the buoy. <laughs> <laughs> I kicked her off of me because she was a newbie. Ooh. Ooh. And, and then, then okay. she she was as big as Stewie. Uh, I was going to say, oh. uh, so she 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 told me to do her doggy like Scooby. <laughs> <laughs> you see the doer, mm -hmm. D O O. We got <laughs> caught, and that shit was in Newsweek. <laughs> Scooby in <and> Newsweek. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got a old rich girl to Named smash Susie. me, and she flew me. <laughs> her name on her ID was Susie. <laughs> she was a blood that wore red, but still she blew me. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, welcome to another episode of Thick Threads. <laughs> The thickest show on the internet. I'm your co-host, Patrick Cloud. Oh, and I'm Persephone. Intro. Intro. Rare. What is going on Rare here? Rare intro. So I know you on that shit today. Hey. I don't I don't know. You look like a um a cartoon a middle school cartoon character. I do look like a like a cart like I would be in the regular show. Yeah, like this talking would to a be. Bluebird. Yeah, you should wear this this outfit every episode, and then people will start dressing as you. 
uh, you know, for I like Halloween. That. There are some 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 entertainers that take the cartoon approach mm -hmm. and wear one outfit all the time, and they be having like hell of the same shirt. I think like I could do that. Chance the Rapper and his three hat. Doesn't he always have that hat on? Yeah. So if you wanted to dress as Chance the Rapper, you could wear anything with as the long three. as you have that three well, hat on. Well, I feel on. like if you were going to dress up as Chance, you wear like the, the khaki overalls or something that he's known for wearing. But he don't be like a cartoon character like mm -hmm. that. I think of like Janelle Monet, who literally would wear the same butler outfit oh, everywhere like she went. Like a little suit. Like a little... <clears throat> I think she did that. Well, she did that because her parents were working class or something. Mm. But that's called like the... like. The cartoon character thing. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, didn't Steve Jobs do that? He did. Steve Jobs had a closet full of black turtlenecks and blue jeans. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't wear shit else. You'd be Tom from MySpace. Huh? You'd be Tom from MySpace. Oh, white tea? There's only one. That's crazy. There's only he one. He did it right. He blew up. MySpace was all about vibes. Wasn't no ads. It was, all, it was, it was straight. And then he sold it and dipped out. Nobody have, knows where the hell he is. Have you ever seen another picture of him? Do you... Do you know what he looks like? Nigga, Tom could file my taxes, and Tom I wouldn't know. Tom could be the engineer in the other room. <laughs> Andrew? <laughs> That's not Andrew. <laughs> he could be. <laughs> hey, Tom. I don't think Tom wore glasses, though. Tom had a white tee. Tom was like an NPC in a video Tom game. Tom has one picture. You have no idea he if he wore no glasses He had no distinguishable features. <laughs> He was he was just guy number seven. <laughs> he was just like a, hey, he a background character. He responded to Elon Musk, right, about taking over Twitter. Tom made a resurface, mm -hmm. and he's talking about hmm. It was know. only one. That'd be kind of cool. One little message, but I was like, <gasps> I trust him. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's probably done hella shit. We just haven't been keeping up with him. We don't know what. Because I, I mean, we, we're still calling him Tom. His name is probably like Thomas White or like some long ass name. I mean, but I mean, how would you know? <laughs> All right. Well, while you gloss it up, my lips not looking juicy. They not looking like no DSLs. I got a story. Hey, wait, wait, wait. So you only have one name hmm. for sex? Yeah. Just one? That was my submission for the episode. I might, oh. I'll have one next time if you want one. Oh, do I need but, to come with one too? Um, you gave us corn dog. <laughs> I think corn dog appointment should be a thing. And shish kebab wasn't good enough for you. Hey, give me that shish kebab. Mm. Shish kebab. The, the abbreviation made it kind of weird. Girl, he brought that shish kebab and had me like shish kebab. Wanting to eat that meat off. A stick. Mm, I like corn dog. That you could use the same. It's the same metaphors, same jokes, all that. Big shishka. Yeah. Bitch, seems, he had a big ass shishka. Seems a little racial. What? I'm not even sure why, but wow. it seems seems like we shouldn't say it. You're horrid. All right, I have a thread that is about uh, a dude's experience trying to Netflix and chill with a woman, and. A roach appears. <laughs> the homie came out the closet. So the homie came from behind the refrigerator. I don't. Uh, so it's it's a it's a it's a thread. that's two parts, mm -hmm. and uh, it was basically it blew up because there was a meme that says how I see a normal cockroach, and it's a picture of a normal cockroach, mm -hmm. versus how I see a cockroach that can fly, and it's a picture of a dragon. <laughs> So somebody <laughs> saw that and retweeted it and said, let me tell y'all about that one night I thought I was finna Netflix and chill, but some crazy shit happened that stopped everything. Wow. Have you ever had roaches? Um, Once. Mm -hmm. You know what? I take that back. Twice. Once when I was a kid and then once in like a new place when I was like a, like a young adult. Oh, your own um, place? Yeah. I've never had roaches in my own place. It was like it was one of those situations where I went down to the garage and I saw like two dead ones, mm. and I was like, "If there's that, that's all I saw." But I was like, "There, there's, there's some nearby for sure." That's how I feel about ants. If I see one anywhere, I'm like, "Oh shit!" I've had rats. You've had rats. I've had rats, oh. and I've had uh, termites. The only time I've had to have my house bombed was for termites. Get out of here. Yeah. For real? Yeah. It's crazy because when I had rats. Were they in your room? Hmm? Were they in your bedroom? Uh, I've never saw them. 
I would hear microscopic? them. You could hear them? Not the termites. The no, not, oh. not the termites. The, oh, the, the rats. rats. I could hear them scratching sometimes. And it's crazy because we brought this dude in. He was like this cold-ass Hispanic dude who was like a rat whisperer. Yeah, like, and he <gasps> came in. No, not to kill him. He oh. came in to like sc scout for him. Mm -hmm. And he was like, I remember me and my mom do this all the time. We do this voice. It's like, there's some activity. <laughs> That's what he said. He kept saying that. There's like there's some activity over here. And then he saw like he saw, he saw like the a, hole where where they went into the walls. There was a hole by my air conditioning uh that had a whole bunch of like 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 almost like shavings underneath it. Oh. And I guess that was just kind of like teeth. where they were where they were coming in and it was it was it was pretty nasty, but we we got we got rid of them. You just closed the holes. Um but yeah. What about you? You ever had any pests? Um as a child, we had them one, at one place that we lived in. And I just remember, the t they freaked me out. I, bugs, insects, just, I just don't, they, I can't handle it. Um, but bugs I do over remember, rats? Oh, I've never, never experienced rats. No, but I'm saying, like, are, would you be more scared of, like, furry cr furry, like. Uh, rats, yeah. You'd be more scared because of rats. Because I feel like don't, rats will bite you. Won't they I mean, bite you? Yeah. Either way, I don't think you have to worry about like uh, catching a fade with any of these things. But for me, it's like I can well, smash I a, wanna, a bug uh, way before I can smash a rat. I'd much rather a roach run over my foot than a rat. Mm. I'll say that. Yeah. Rats, mice, they just, they don't do it for me. I, I learned so much about rats when I got them. Uh, and apparently they're like naturally greasy. They're like very oh, greased, are they? like their their fur and the sides. Oh, they're dirty, right? S yeah. So. Or is it their actual skin type is grease? You grease know, I don't know. I don't know if it's like a naturally thing or if it's because they're always in um, trash or stuff, something like that. Mm -hmm. But I did learn that if you go into a restaurant and you know those little uh, those those pan wall panels that be on the floor, mm -hmm. um, that thing, uh, the panel that mm -hmm. runs across the bottom of most walls. If you go into a restaurant and you see that that's greasy, there's like grease stains on it, or it's like a little reflective, that mm -hmm. means that restaurant has rats. Caught. There's if there's if it's grease on the the bottom portion of the wall, mm -hmm. then that restaurant might have rats. So what is oh, your what is your thread shit. about? My thread is <clears throat> men only. What's a date women can take you on that you'd actually enjoy? Okay. Uh, that a woman can take you on, like you. Well, it's not your plan. She, it's, it's her idea. Your, she, she's taking you out. Okay. Or he's taking you out. Would whatever your floats your boat. I um, like that. You know. Yeah, and like it's actually surprise. it's actually my thread. It's it's from oh, my you, Twitter. Oh, you you tweeted that originally. I tweeted that originally. Okay. And it got it got quite a few. I think it got over five hundred responses on twitter noise so i feel like i should bring it to threads why the thick old threads. tf not big booty threads all right thick thighs save lives threads where you want to start you want to start with the roaches you want to start with the dates should we roast shambo oh. again all right all right shambo pa well <laughs> if you're gonna go with dynamite, then I win. Cause no, I'm blowing your ass up. No, that blows a rock up. But remember, the reason I brought up dynamite last episode was because I said it has a cuttable wick. So, cut. All right, boom. You ain't booming shit. I ain't booming a mother. We finna talk about these roaches. <laughs> roaches. <laughs> these roaches. Rochambeau. Like a delicatessen, like a a a, a roche, a, a dessert. Let me. A roche. Eat. Would you like the roche? <laughs> <laughs> Well, unfortunately, this guy was looking for some uh, some some dessert. He wanted some cake, but ended up getting some roach. So again, this is about that that one night I thought I was finna Netflix and chill, but some crazy shit happened that stopped everything. <laughs> okay, story time. So a few years back, I went over to this chick house one night. It was the first time I had ever been over there. She kind of lived in a duck uh, a duck off, um, and uh, the city has been redacted to protect the innocent. So he's trying to. Oh, he things. don't want to say. He I might want to. He Michigan. might, might want to uh, spin the block. Mm -hmm. He said I, I had a little trouble finding it, but eventually I did. We had been conversing for a few weeks, and she was fine AF. So I figured tonight nice. a little something would probably pop off. Mm -hmm. I get to her house and I step inside. 
or at least try to, but the crib kind of messy. You can't even step oh, inside. No. So it's not even, oh man. So oh, it's yeah, not it's even that it's, start. it's it's the building's fault. It's like her, oh, she her, nasty. her spot is. Oh, I'm surprised man. a little because she asked me over. So I figured she'd have it at least kind of clean. It isn't. She got shit on the floor everywhere. I ain't tripping. Baby girl got a little girl. So maybe the baby has just been playing with the toys. The house is messy, not nasty. That's okay. that's important. Okay. okay. Messy is doable. But messy, the roaches can hide underneath the toys and yeah. shit. Okay. She's sweeping when I get in. That's encouraging. I also smell the potent hint of bleach wafting throughout the crib. Oh, so she just tried to clean for him. Okay. Yeah, maybe she ran out of time. You know, she got a mm-hmm. little girl. She's mopping her floors with it. I also know it's bleach because my eyes are fucking watering from the amount being used. Damn, she was really shocked. She was like, you motherfucking roach duck. Y'all stay where y'all at. Don't you come out while, while, this, na- well, while, who knows? while this man is here. I'm supposed to get some dick. But hey, clean house means I can't concentrate when it's time to get my beard moisturized. Oh, he's trying to eat that. What? I don't, I don't. I don't beard. eat the box if the na- if the room nasty if the, if they place gross I'm hey, not going down there. She was as fine as wine. The nigga said he's coming to eat. He came. He not came, just. He came with an empty stomach. Uh huh. He says clean house means I can concentrate when it's time to get my beard moisturized. I ain't got to worry about starting to itch or nothing. Mm-hmm. Anyway, shit is taking a little while. It's looking like she's about to move out. This motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't expect to come over and watch her clean, but whatever. I'm here now. Probably going to spend the night. Might as well watch TV while she cleans. So she did not stop cleaning. The thing is, see, this is this is the problem with, with this, this lady. If you know that you're going to have male company uh-huh. and your place is not together, you need to extend the time. You don't let him in while you're still cleaning. You gotta just say, like, uh, you give gotta me tell him, yeah, you give me, a, yeah, give give me a little extra time. Um, I'm not finished doing whatever. You don't have mm-hmm. to say cleaning, but you need to give. If you're gonna use straight bleach to clean the kitchen, you need to let that air out. So you need to open some windows. Well, we didn't even talk need- to the girl yet, so we don't even know how trifling she is. We just know Lord. all the information we got so far. She had got he got the invite over. It's still messy. She She's cleaning like a, a wild woman, but she is not stopping. So he's like, whatever. I might spend the night cleaning. Ain't that big of a deal. Um, um, you know, n- no one is more lenient than a nigga with a hard penis. Maybe he'll help her. I reach for the remote, and that's when I see it—a goddamn roach. <laughs> and I ain't talking no a roach. Oh, he crawled over here and died, roach. No, this is a living breathing grown ass flourishing roach this roach goes to the gym and meal preps <laughs> this roach makes protein shakes he was jealous of the roach <laughs> he was like damn they kind of built the roach said look this my bitch so i'm kind of par- <laughs> so i'm kind of paralyzed at this point not because i'm scared of roaches it's the opposite i'm paralyzed because i don't understand how the fuck the roach survived the bleach she has all over the house that has my eyes leaking in that house <laughs> <laughs> roaches can survive <laughs> shoot the, 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 the nuclear expo- the, explosions exactly yeah. i begin swinging on the roach <laughs> <laughs> this guy is crazy what who's telling the story i begin swinging on the roach so he trying to said, kill the roach i said square up <laughs> dem hands university i think he meant to say universal <laughs> But it's also, if these hands are university, it's like I'm teaching niggas (laughs) about these hands. (laughs) He said, uh, I swear I was finna box his ass with the Mayweather shoulder roll uh, like this here. And it's a picture of the nigga (laughs) nigga squaring up. The roach is dodging all my shit. I catch him with a right cross. Fap! He hits the ground. Wings still flapping. Wings? So this was the flying This was a flying roach. Yeah, bro. She yelling back at me from the hallway. You want something to drink? Now I done worked up a thirst in round <laughs> one with this goddamn man roach. But hell no, nah, I don't want no drink. I don't want no sex. All I want is to survive the night. That's <laughs> crazy. And how does she not know there is a battle of good and evil taking place in her <laughs> living room? The roach is stunned, but he ain't out for the count. <laughs> Did you write this? No. <laughs> this this your, guy is crazy. Is this your thread. No. It sounds like you would tell this story. The, the roach is stunned, but he ain't out for the count. 
He starts stumbling, <laughs> trying to get up. I'm thinking to myself, I ain't going out like this. And he put the game of war. <laughs> Me and all the niggas charging him. <laughs> damn this woman. Damn this TV. Damn this house. And damn this bleach resistant ass roach trying oh to God. treat me like I'm the new nigga in jail. Wow. My phone rings. I scoop it and make a dash for the door. I hop over the trash pile. <laughs> the trash pile? God. <laughs> We took a big L. City girl down 10,000. I, I, I scoop it. I scoop it and make a dash for the door. I hop over the trash pile and roll from the steps outside into the grass. Again, a whole tactical, like. <laughs> I sprint down the street to my car. I get to the car to open the door, and it shows Black Panther doing acrobatics. <laughs> Let me guess. The roach was on his shirt. <laughs> I forgot my motherfucking keys. The edge. Oh, no, you got to go back. Oh, my God. Ooh, this is by That's C.J. Like Lawrence. That's like escaping the house fire, but you got to go back for the dog. Shout out to C.J. Lawrence. That story was hilarious. That's nuts. He literally, step by step, talked about fighting this roach. Like it was a dude. He was fighting for his life. He was. Okay. And, and sanity. And you know what's like? We never ever heard from her though. We, so he offered she, a, she offered a drink and never stopped cleaning. So she probably know how nasty her house is. But she also invited him over. But that's the thing. It's like why? I don't know. Like, I I guess I've just never, I've never been the type to not have the cleaning done by the time right. I've had company. Like, But I get it. You know, sometimes maybe her schedule caught up with her and she's like, oh, shit, he's already on the way and I didn't finish this, you know, lost track of time, all that stuff. Hey, can, do you, would you feel comfortable stopping to grab us something to eat? Um, I need, I, I need a little bit more time. You're a therapist. Though. Or grab, can you stop at the grocery store and People don't process grab some, look, 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 the best way to do things the, like you would do. Would you stop at the liquor store and maybe grab us some drinks? Now a I nigga out. will stop. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. You got to pull out saying, like, your trick bag. I'm going to turn you, up with you. If this nigga's like, I'm five minutes away and I know I still got the dishes and I still have to sweep. And the nigga, and the roach my, is still watching TV on the couch. Right. And my trash, I haven't taken the trash out yet, so I need at least 10 or 15 extra minutes, I might tell him to pick a liquor that is hard to find. <laughs> like, Do you think she knows she has roaches? Yes. She probably was sweeping most of them up while he was sitting in the living room. Well, here's the question. Do you think it's possible to have roaches and not be nasty? Yes, absolutely. So it could just because happen, Because I right? think they dwell in places that you can't help. I mean... Mm -hmm. So I wasn't nasty when I had roaches. Right. Neither was my parents weren't nasty when right. uh, Same. I do remember turning the light on and seeing the scatter. And that uh, was just that was the craziest thing. And the, the worst part is I got used to it. Oh, it was a daily thing. I mean, uh, they they would clean what they could, but they were never out in the daytime. I never saw them in the daytime. The only time I saw them in the only place I saw them was on the kitchen floor. Mm. If it was dark in the living room, I turn on the lights. I would see a couple scurry, and that's the only time I ever saw them. I hated seeing them, mm -hmm. but thank God I never saw them in my room. I was freak out. I went to my aunt's house in Texas, and they had the flying ones. Mm -hmm. And Lord, I told my mom. I called my mom, and I was like, "Mom, I want to go home. Like, I have to get out of here." And she was like, what? She has roaches. And she heard mm. me. Like, my aunt heard me Damn. say, like, she has roaches. I that have must to hurt. Get out of here. You I just know, in the right? other room. She got roaches. Get me out of here. You just <laughs> get like, me out of here. Save me, please. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Damn. Yeah, my mom don't play that. My, mm -hmm. mom's, my mom's famous word is icky. She says oh. she hates stuff when she doesn't think it's up to par cleanly-wise. She says it's icky. So every time we would find something, she would be horrified mm -hmm. and get it done the next day. Because... Mm -hmm. She don't. She, she, but she'd thank be like, God, oh, it's I'm, icky. I'm, I don't want it. I'm terrified. At this point, I'm terrified of insects. I just, I know I'm big, but I don't, I don't, I don't like them. You know you how know like mice are scared of. I mean, elephants are scared of mice. So you know, you're comparing like that. yourself <laughs> to. <laughs> <laughs> that's, how feel, that's how I feel about insects. Period. Hey, Spiders. I mean, danger aside, I think the smaller something is, the 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 kind of like the nastier it is you know there's like a lot of things that 
or if it was I think like about red ants, fire ants. Yeah, it's like I don't want that. It's, I've it's, had fire it's a sneak ants attack. go up my leg before when I was playing. Of yeah, wildlife. When I was, well, I mean, I was playing in wildlife. Okay. <clears throat> Men only. Mm-hmm. What's a date women can take you on that you'd actually enjoy? Someone said, "I'm a I'm a input my answer after you're done." After I'm done, okay. Well, these are quite a few, and I like these. Sporting event, check. I've done that. Easy. A sports bar. <clears throat> uh, food, drinks, dancing, sex, and breakfast. In that order. Food, drink, dancing, dancing, sex, and breakfast. Dot dot dot. What's after breakfast? I'm going home. That sounds <laughs> sounds like a yeah. Sounds regular. Mm-hmm. This guy said a picnic. Wow, from that was from the dude. That's lit. Okay. okay. That was random. That's I wouldn't think that a guy would want to go on a picnic. You know, you want to go on a picnic? I when I was in New York, I went to it was like a it was like a really cool event they did in a park out there and it was called it was like it was something like it was like a black women smoking event. Oh, I don't okay. know what it was, but it was like a bunch of black people just went to this park and they were able to smoke, to smoke. and watch oh. watch music and kind of and stuff like that. But it was watch like Watch music. What is watching music? Live band? Oh, okay. Um, but uh so it was like a concert in the park where everybody was smoking. Like kinda, a music festival. It was, it was like a it was like yeah, it was like a vibe, a but people brought their own food and stuff like that and it was they had picnic vibes and I was like, you know, if picnic didn't have such a soft connotation to it. Pick a nigga. Uh no, that's not what I was thinking. I was just thinking no. being hella friendly. Isn't that what? Like, isn't that the root picnic. of it? Uh no, I think you're talking. Aren't you thinking of picking nigga? Picking pick nigga? Picking pick ninny? Yeah. Oh, I thought picnic was picking nigga. Could be. But I mean, um, I'm, I'm here for the. But for out the here, like yeah, picnics. I I thought that's a vibe. I thought when this guy was saying picnic as a first date, I didn't think of like a, a, an event. That's More still so a date. Like, That's still like a date a idea. Like a picnic. Like you and I go to the park, blankets, food, you know. <clears throat> it's got to be a nice park. It. it has to be a nice park with mm-hmm. views. But that's not something that I typically would, would have thought you guys would enjoy. So that's cool. Hookah lounge and probably have her choose what to eat after that then see what the date entails. And then oh. the next the next comment says, here for the comments. What is it? Go ahead. What is a picnic? Where where did it originate? Okay, I, I had to go to a black history <laughs> website to mm-hmm. get the real truth. So here's the question. Is it true that the word picnic originally came from the word pick a nigger or pick a nigger? Apparently the black person was random a black person was randomly picked and hanged for the entertainment of whites. The whites including families ate from box lunches while enjoying the bar- barbaric act. Mm-hmm. Uh, if this is true, we should stop using the word picnic. And this is from Sarah James of uh, from Baltimore, Maryland. The answer is that uh, the uh, the word picnic does not suggest racist or racial overtones. It was a 17th century French word, picnic, uh, which is a social gathering where each attendee brings a share of food. So, I don't think it is. So the origin is not Mm-mm. picnic. Mm-mm. Okay. So why? Okay. Hmm. Interesting. That's what this site says. Um, I've never seen that site, but I've definitely heard that as being. I could the see root. it being that, though. I could definitely see it being that. Right. That's why I'm like, eh. Um, a football game. Uh, I'm old school, so a woman taking me on a date and paying is out of the question, unless it's my Shit. birthday. Then a Marvel or DC movie, Dave and Buster's, and I'm good to go. Marvel DC movie, so Dave you're, and Buster's. You're, you're cool with being taken on a date. Yeah. Good. Good. I think sometimes, like, we Treat don't necessarily me. want to take you on the first date. Yeah. But once we see that maybe there's a little something there, there's a mm-hmm. vibe. Like, for me, I've never taken a guy on a first date. Uh-huh. Um, That's weird. But, it, yeah, it, it's just it's just not in, in my character. Mm-hmm. Um. And I don't think I've really ever dated a guy that wanted me to take him on the first date, you know? Yeah, I mean, but, I think that's, that's what we're taught, especially as mm-hmm. black men. That's what we're taught growing up. Like, my, my dad 
like for for me, I'm not I'm not I don't consider myself cheap when it comes to dates. Right. Like if it's something that I can't afford, I I will plan differently or do something different. You okay. know, like I'm I'm the type of person who will cover everything just because I feel like that's what the man should do. Mm -hmm. So for me, it, going out on a date is like a cool little break from that. But mm -hmm. that's like I think when that's like your norm, that's right. when it's an issue. Yeah, but I have like once once I'm 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 a spender. I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I I don't mind spending for the guy that I'm interested in. I I like it actually. Nurture, which is, yeah. Which is I mean, it's a good <coughs> and a bad thing. So, um, this guy says a dinner and a movie. Dinner can consist of no less than good burger, fries, and a shake. To barbecue dinner would have to be something classic. Oh, so he's saying I ain't no cheap bitch. You better take me to a steakhouse. No, no, no. He's saying I am a cheap bitch. Oh, he's saying, he's saying only burgers. Dinner can consist of no less than a good burger, fries, and a shake to barbecue. Dinner would have to be something classic. So no less than, meaning it can't be no worse less than, than a, 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 burger? a burger or fries and a shake. What less? What's less than that? Chicken wings. Wings are above burgers. Um. Chicken strips, chicken nuggets. Are we talking about quality or price now? Taco. Uh, chicken <laughs> strips is high up on that list. You hear me? I mean, I don't know what goes under. He said a good burger. He's confusing me. Go he said answer. a good burger, so that's different. Welcome to Good Burger. I'll be Home wine and the Good Burger. Can I take your order? I'll take the. Ah, see, I knew that was going to happen. She was trying goes. so hard. They had a Ooh. whole song and dance trying to keep these damn earrings in, and I said it's going to fall out during the podcast. And you were prepared for it. Your what you got? Falling off. Shut up. Look at you getting stuff from Wish. <laughs> All I did was lose the back of the earrings because you uh, cut damn nails are too long. Damn. My earrings are not. Yes, they're not from Wish. Either Top Golf or a new Marvel movie. A lot of Marvel. Um, I, I like Top Golf. I would love to take a guy to Top Top Golf. Uh, the problem with these and they got a new one out here. The problem with these dates are like, it's like too leaned into the dude stuff. Like it is. If I wouldn't have fun going to a football game with somebody who didn't Doesn't really like, like football. football. You know what I mean? Like I don't want somebody to suffer. For my, I would rather just go with somebody who's like super into it, also. But if she's taking you on a date that you would enjoy, then her enjoyment's gonna come from taking you somewhere that you yeah, enjoy. Yeah, but I think, f and I think it's different for you guys. Maybe you guys don't get enjoyment from taking us somewhere that we enjoy if it's not an interest it's of not, yours, also. It's it has nothing to do with me. It's just like I I would be more comfortable with us have mm -hmm. both having fun. It's hard for me to fully be into something when I know that somebody's just like. What's what's what is this? You know, so like, but don't you was, you don't think that that's a moment of like teaching or like this is what I'm into because I mean if you fast forward to if you guys do decide to move forward with a relationship or whatnot, I mean at times you you would want like her to come to something with you that you enjoy. Yeah. That maybe, so, so if like, come you through... took the time to teach her and she was. Naturally, I feel like when we're really, really into a guy, mm -hmm. like his interests, like we, if even if it's not our interest, like I want to know more about it. Mm -hmm. So, and honestly, I don't want to do my own research about it. Maybe I will every now and then to surprise you, like, hey, I know what this is, you mm -hmm. know. Um, well, then I but like the, the, I'd rather you teach me. I feel like the, if that's the case, then pull up with me and my friends to Sunday night football or, mm -hmm. you know, uh, do this with me. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I think that, do I think I, I couldn't have fun at a football game if I was super into football and a, mm -hmm. a girl took me there? Absolutely, I, I would, you know? and I But I think that I would just be kind of going out of my way to be like, you good, mm -hmm. inclusion, maybe like letting them know what's going on. I would, I feel like there are fun things that are just sort of like unanimously fun that you yeah. could do together as opposed to doing something that just I want to do. I think this next one might be your date. Boom. Let's hear it. Steak dinner. Okay. Top golf. Okay. Live music. Okay. Plenty of drink and smoke. It's a cool date. It's a cool <laughs> date. I like that. Mm-hmm. Um, anywhere golf. with great seafood, drinks, and combo. Seafood is busted. A lot of these niggas just want to be fed. That's, it really is. The next one, to a taco truck or a taqueria. Go eat pupusas at a Salvadorian restaurant. Fire. Et cetera. 
I'm a simple guy and things like that make me happy. If if taco trucks are your thing, then that's cool. But mm-hmm. it's like, if you're going to do something. I, I, I don't necessarily want to take it. But if I know that that's his thing, then it's like, okay. It's, right. But it's like, you can't really sit down at a taco truck. You know, like, if that's his mm-hmm. thing, then for sure. But that was, I, I like the papooses part better. He said, I love dinners with live bands, preferably jazz, but hip hop, soul or rock can do as well. First date, we got to look face to face. I need to know who the hell you are. High key. You like that one? That was a good one. This one, paintball, shooting range, car show, sports game. I enjoy all the paintball would be so fun, but I don't see that as a first date. These are all first. Wait, these are first dates. Oh, options. you know what? They're not. It's They're just, not, right? Just yeah. What? What? Yeah. I think if but the I girl feel like is that's into a group that, thing. What paintball? Yeah. Yeah. Shooting range. If the girl's into guns or wants to be into guns, I feel like that would be really cool. Mm-hmm. Or if it's like, but just... this is the thing. It's not about her. In this, this is her taking you on a date you enjoy because when you take her on a date, you might not necessarily, or you may, but. I don't know if the majority of guys will take a girl on a date of something that they actually enjoy versus what they think she'll enjoy. Yeah, so because I think dudes, that's the, part of the, dude's game. But I think in the question for this, it's not about what she enjoys. It's about her taking you somewhere solely that you would enjoy. But you got to think, like, this isn't a, a, a anniversary or a gift. This mm-hmm. is a date. And I feel like mm-hmm. dates should be fun for both parties Mm -hmm. and i think if it was then we see more dates where guys enjoyed them but it seems like guys will just take her on the date so they can get back home exactly (laughs) so it's not really about that it's just it's the courting part of it Mm -hmm. and it doesn't matter whose date whose idea the date was Mm -hmm. it's still about courting and when Mm -hmm. it comes to courting it's usually the dude courting the woman because the woman doesn't need that dude for sex but the the woman in your example they're just they're they're trying to make the Mm -hmm. the girl like them so they they might want to do just they might go through hell just to make sure that the girl's having fun because that's what their their intent is about so i think the dating scene needs a revamp because honestly i feel like if if men who you guys are the pretty much the majority of who takes us out on the first date if you guys actually d- did stuff that you enjoyed as well that it would it would make the vibe a lot stronger and you could actually get the needs that you're looking for to get met mm-hmm. um much better than all right bitch i took you to eat I took you, you got a steak, now give me some pussy. Well, that, I mean, you know? besides <laughs> besides like... dudes just being overly aggressive and feeling like they're owed something, I think that if you're the type of dude to be like, man, I hate dates, I hate restaurants, mm-hmm. I don't even like this restaurant, and you suffer through the whole date, mm-hmm. then it's like that's going to add to your aggression mm-hmm. at the end of the night when it's mm-hmm. like, damn, I was doing all this bullshit, mm-hmm. I was spending all this money. But for me, it's like, I'm not going to take a girl to a restaurant that I don't like the food, right. you know. I'm not going to suggest something that I'm going to be miserable at just because I'm like, yeah, cuz yeah. you can still be miserable in a date and if the energy ain't there, y'all still right. not going to go right. anywhere with that. So I I'm the type people will ask me like what's what's your your favorite type of date and mm-hmm. I really enjoy like active activities. I like mm-hmm. doing shit. Like, even if it's just bowling, I'd like to go roller skating. Right. Um, pa- paintball is, is fun. I, I mean, I would think it's fun. I've actually never been paintballing. Mm. But if we did go to the shooting range, I enjoy the shooting range. I have fun, even though, you know, my but, aim might be okay. Uh, <laughs> but if niggas paid more attention to that, I feel like the mm-hmm. date would be more successful. Because Absolutely. what's the point of a date is to sort of, like, vibe and, and have fun together. Mm-hmm. And... If you limit it to the classic stuff like restaurants and mm-hmm. dancing, you can have an amazing time eating dinner together. But it's right. like it has a cap. Mm-hmm. You know, you're not going <laughs> to the and most is going to be good conversation and laughter. Honestly, dinner is just like for me, dinner is eating is just like part of the date. It doesn't have to be. I honestly don't want the food to be the the, the main part of the date. Right. I want that to be. If if we went somewhere where we went go kart racing, mm-hmm. I love go kart racing. Right. So if we went go kart racing, I'm okay with us going to Chick Fil A. 
I'd rather be, I'd rather the food be the like, side activity than the, yeah. than the main activity when going on a date. Like, right. it'd be fun. That like, take sense. me somewhere with a crazy ass view. We can go to Wendy's is one of my favorite uh, fast food Wendy's restaurants. slept on. I love we, Wendy's. We can go get some food from Wendy's and go to the top of a hill on Mulholland Drive. That was a, a I went on a date. It was fire. I went on a date. We we got food. We did go to a restaurant though. Um uh but after after we ate, we went up, I think it was Mulholland Drive, and mm-hmm. there was a DJ at the top of the hill that overlooked all of LA. Oh, and shit. it was literally like maybe ten different couples there just mm-hmm. chilling and listening to the DJ. And mm. it was fire like That's people lit. came and went and it was it's just memorable like too. yeah it was memorable it was a really cool environment and i was like damn this is this is uh, this is different and mm. it was his idea he was like let's drive up and just see the <clears throat> views but we didn't know there was going to be a dj oh that's but, cool yeah so it sometimes ended up, random stuff like that is cool too yeah so i think um i don't know my favorite type of dates are active but i know i was an athlete Mm-hmm. You know, I, I've been on just sometimes dinner, this, and sometimes the conversation. I was a therapist, so talking so much is just like, okay. It's, I talk it's all day. Too. When I, go. I feel like if dudes leaned more into fun dates, mm-hmm. it'd be easier on them, too. Absolutely. Because you got to think about, like, to just sit across from somebody and just That you talk. don't know. Yeah, and just talk. You got to be either just really, really good at conversation mm-hmm. Or just you have just a, a, a persona down pat that you right. do every time. Right. But it's like that is putting yourself in a harder position because now you're mm-hmm. just nothing but personality, nothing mm-hmm. but talking. This is all that's going to make you right. want to go keep bowling, talking me or smash me. Right. But if you go it's bowling, a, then now it's like, mm-hmm. okay. It's in her mind as a fun right. thing. Right. Dudes love shit talking. So we go bowling. Now we make it. You know, me versus you, but at the so same time, easier. or she can act like she don't know how to bowl. So you come behind her and show her like, you know, it's very flirtatious. It's active. And like it's easier. It's fun, and it's easier. And There's here's the best part. You having fun, too. Right. So it's like she she at the end of the night, she's like, nah, I ain't trying to smash. Right. Okay. It was it was uh, fun. I had fun, right. The right. night is not as opposed to yeah. you going like this the whole night and then yeah. you're like, So we doing anything? I spent all this <laughs> no, I did all this. You gonna and it's just give me like something. you you can you would literally have an easier time and a more fun date. I've gone on really fun dates where within the first ten minutes I'm like, This isn't I'm not gonna t- see her again. Okay. This is it. So that leads me to my <laughs> question for you. What is the best date? that a woman has ever taken you on? It's a hard question. Been on some pretty cool dates. Well, okay, I won't say Um, the best. What's one of your faves? Hmm. Or have you been taken on a date? I didn't even ask that. Have you yes. been taken on a date before? Okay. Absolutely. I've actually, um, I've been very, very, very lucky. Um, I I believe that you kind of get the energy you attract, mm-hmm. which is why some people put an image out that's weird. Mm-hmm. And then they're complaining about like, man, all these girls that I talk to, all these dudes I talk to are blah, 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 blah. And it's just mm-hmm. like, yeah, you kind of like that. Right. So <laughs> um, I like to think that I establish fun very early. Mm-hmm. So whenever... You know, I I decide to you know keep something going with a woman. They're always fun. Okay. And I think that uh that you know I've I've just been very blessed with very very cool. Uh, it, it, would, it would either be like you know surprise Airbnbs, you know, okay. in the middle of like a naturey spot. Um, you know, I'm a I'm a a big fan of like almost like step by step planned out like storyline stuff Mm -hmm. almost like you know you walk in and it's just like here's Mm -hmm. this you got to go over this and it's just like oh snap uh, i'm on a little side quest uh, you know um you did it like a a little uh what are those hunts called um like scavenger scavenger Uh like that i did that for a boyfriend of mine for i did a whole scavenger he had to go to 
the Biltmore to pick up an envelope from the... Oh, dri- driving places? Mm-hmm. Okay. I did a whole, like, and then I got the hotel room. That's lit. Like all uh, my sca- mm-hmm. all, Every scavenger hunt I've set up for people, whether romantically or I do that with my parents a lot, mm-hmm. uh, it'll be all in the same place. But where, okay, okay. <laughs> so where did she take you? Like, where, where, what was this date? Well, I was, I was, I was referencing a, a couple different things just now. Oh. Um, just a memorable one. It doesn't have to be the best one that you've been on. Just one that where you was like, oh, this is a fucking vibe. It was very simple. I don't even think I went anywhere. <laughs> mm. It was like a, it was just like a care package of all my favorite things. And it wasn't for a birthday or it wasn't for an event or anything. Okay. It was just like, you want to hang out? But it was just like. You know when somebody just like supplies an entire vibe and you don't have to do anything? <laughs> yeah. It was just one of those things where like you pull up and they were like, drank, got you some smoke, made you your favorite meal because I asked you secretly and blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. Um, and then it was just like, I think it just ended up being like a like a gaming so, competition or something like that. Oh, so a night in. It was like a night in, but she just like between like the vibe itself, the 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 music, the food, mm-hmm. what we did, and then it's like, it seems like people argue about this all the time on the on the internet. But I feel like women are really, really, really good at secretly finding out like the little things that you like. We listen. It's not even listen. It is no. If we listen, it's you guys. We listen. You guys pry too, but we don't mm-hmm. even know it's prying. Mm-hmm. So it's like you give that advice to us and we're just like, okay, just listen, just listen, which mm-hmm. would help. But I think what you guys have the edge in is you guys pry in ways that we don't even know. We're just mm-hmm. stupid and we're just like, hey, uh, what's your favorite flowers? <laughs> Where's your favorite restaurant? But y'all do like y'all do it weird where we don't mm-hmm. even know until the surprise happens or it, it happens. And it's mm-hmm. just like, oh, I. I didn't even tell her about this. Mm-hmm. I just went here, you know, mm-hmm. or I just picked up something. I mean, from, but you, you know. guys say things in passing. When I say we listen, it really is that because we don't necessarily. The fact that you think it might be prying means we're doing what what we're supposed to do. But I know because what y'all are doing, too. most of the time, it's not, though. You, in casual conversation, at least for me, I'll speak mm-hmm. for myself. In casual conversation, when you're just chopping it up with a dude. Mm-hmm. There are things that he says in casual conversation that lets you know this is what he's into. This mm-hmm. is what he likes. This is what I can do. So, I that. so I don't even have to pry. I've never had to pry. Oh. I've always just been like, okay, I've, I hear you. I think it's because. I hear you, and you don't even know that you just told me this. Well, when I, I feel like when I get that surprise, I'm like, how did you? How uh-huh. did you? And then they'll explain it to me like mm-hmm. one time you said this mm-hmm. or like one time. Exactly. And, and but I think that whenever it was presented to me, it was like in a way that's like, remember when I asked you so and so or like, remember when I did this? So it was like to me, the pry mm-hmm. is the not even necessarily asking to your point, but necessarily mm-hmm. like doing something to get that information, mm-hmm. even if it's not directly asked. I think the best date that I've taken a guy on, I think it was it was a sporting a sporting event. Hmm. It was like some courtside shit. Yeah. Courtside to either a Clippers game. Um, I've never been super courtside to a Laker game. I've been close, mm-hmm. but never courtside. Um, but you're an athlete. I so am. So that's right so up your alley. I, 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 I tend to go into manly shit that I, that, right. that I think they would be into. Um, I'm, a, I'm a pretty decent cook, as you. <laughs> decent? <laughs> Low key, no. You are actually one of the the best cooks I know, personally. <laughs> That's not a chef. Too. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. And so I pride myself on that. Mm-hmm. And so I will sometimes maybe if I'll cook at home, I'll bring him a plate if I don't want to see him or food will get like a nigga that. quick. Food yeah. will get a nigga <laughs> quick. <laughs> but I think yeah, some of the good the good nights I've done is like, you know pretended to be a waitress or something like that maybe uh the some waitress. dress up <laughs> dress How you up doing, the, sugar <laughs> you want some more uh, you want me to top you off i do <laughs> it's a southern waitress yes it's a southern waitress you do an accent and everything yeah, yeah 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 can y'all hear it oh my god <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, so I'm 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 just at the I'm just at the counter and I'm just uh drinking my water. Hey there, sugar. <laughs> How you doing tonight? I mean, how about yourself? <laughs> oh, I can't have a different voice. <laughs> Why you have to be so? Okay, well, fine. You, I'll have my, I'll be regular. You okay. be the. Okay. I'm I good. See, how you doing? I've seen you around these parts before. Ah, uh, you sit around these parts. All <laughs> yeah. right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I have. What would you like to eat today? I like it. You like it? It's pretty cool. I feel like her name's Savannah. Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. But yeah, so I've done Beatrice. a little, you know, a little southern, a little, Beatrice. A little southern ting. You okay. know, so, um, but yeah, I, I, that's memorable. Yeah, but I, I, I like, I like to give gifts. So when I'm into somebody, I'll like go shopping. If I'm going shopping, I'll find something that, you know, I think is, is a vibe mm-hmm. and, um, uh, and I'll pick it up for him and surprise him with it. That's, that's my biggest thing. As far as dates are concerned, like I like to surprise pay. So he might he might schedule the date and think that, you know, that that he's going to pay. And then, Mm -hmm. you know, I've slid my card or, you know, if we go to a store or something and he picks out some stuff or whatever, I'll like give my card instead. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll do stuff like that because that's always nice. I I feel like, you know, especially if we weren't we weren't expecting to, Mm -hmm. because I think that a lot of uh, a lot of gift giving and uh hate from lack of gift giving mm-hmm. all comes from intention you know mm-hmm. it's like when you hear those stories about a date that happens and the bill comes and the the, the guy is just like this yeah. or, or like um you know the the girl starts doing something and, and the guy's just like well shit i was going to pay anyway mm-hmm. but you don't have to be weird about it right so i think that you know surprising someone when they were not uh, expecting not it not expecting it mm-hmm. yeah it's like that's that's it's, it's a whole vibe and it's solid. It's 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 gone over well. Every time I've done it, it's definitely been appreciated. And hopefully, maybe I'll do um, next time. I'll do one for the women. Like, what's the best date that you've ever been taken on? Because I have been taken on some pretty some nice pretty decent dates. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Y'all. Well, that was a pretty decent set of threads. It was. It for sure was. Sugar. It was. Mm-hmm. Um, I got a I got a new little proposition for the end of this show. Okay. What Seems like it? every time we submit a thread, some maybe maybe not every time, but sometimes we both submit our threads and we're like, "You got a better thread," or <laughs> "I think my thread was better." Okay. What if whoever had? I'm not gonna say weaker because we'd be bringing some fire. Yeah. But whoever had the better thread. Only has to give one fact at the end, but if mm. the, if the other person came a little harder than you, okay, came a little harder. I was about to say, I, was, I couldn't say pause, but yummy, yummy. If the other person, uh, you know, brought a, a thread that went a little harder, mm-hmm. then you got to give two facts. Okay. Sometimes we be doing the fact sandwich, and I, I I feel like we got no shortage of facts. We got Uber facts. We got all these cool little places. You know, we, we're getting them from. Okay. So, roaches. Dates. Which one did What's you like vote? better? This is tough. It is tough because I feel like we both had some like pretty strong. But learned, I'm not gonna lie, I really enjoyed. I your, learned more than yours, but the nigga who was writing mine was funny. I, he was funny. <laughs> he was hilarious. So I'm gonna he give it. To, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay. I'm gonna give it to you. All right. Um, so you got two of them things for me. I got something for you. You ready? Mm-hmm. You share about 40 to 60% of your DNA with bananas. I knew that. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is, but that, honestly, that is probably one of the craziest facts I've heard in my life. 40 to 60% with bananas. That's so much. I love bananas. That's why. So I like eating myself. No, I just think you have a deep ass connection with them. Because my mom, my banana, my choice. My mom, when I was in the womb, she ate. You just pronounced the B in womb? Womb. Okay. She ate Bananas. banana splits every fucking day. That what was her she, craving. She have like a one of those pill 
uh-huh. containers with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. <laughs> wait, and wait. they all had a banana split. <laughs> banana in them. splits. So she was just like, she consumed so many bananas when she was pregnant with me that. That was straight up. Oh, damn. Sorry. There are about 25 million tons of spiders living on Earth. That's stupid. 25 million tons. Stupid. Why is it stupid? How the fuck would you weigh every spider on Earth? Okay, I got Scientists another one. Scientists are still still finding new spiders. Okay, I got another one. What, you just gonna blow through mine? The internet, the universe, and the human brain all share similar structures and growth patterns. Say that again? The internet, the universe, and the human brain all share similar structures and growth patterns. Now that's crazy because it blows my mind how blows. when you look at a, a motherboard, mm-hmm. it how much it looks like space. everything. Yes. It looks like space. It do look like synapses. And space looks like the human brain. When you see like the different um, galaxies the and stuff. fuck out of me. It bothers you? Why? Because everybody's brain is a soup, is a ultra supercomputer mm-hmm. and we don't even know everything about it and it's just like the stuff in our brain is is almost as vast as the universe itself yeah so the fact that there's any similarities is crazy but the fact that they all look the same and then on an even more meta level the internet looks the same yeah what if we were programmed by something else what if we might be what if this was just a, a ladder of stuff See, it was I- universe us and then like, oh, shit, the internet looks just like that. But there's a bunch of stuff above that. You know what I like to think? I, I like to use this analogy. Um, when you were in the womb, the right? Womb. The womb. The womb. You, in your, in your mind, in your baby mind, you probably thought that that was your world, right? That was no, your world. That's it. all you see. Well, I mean, follow me. <laughs> that's all you see is darkness some light you hear some noises nah, like nigga. but you can't really digest follow me you can't really digest what's going on but that's your world that's all you know and then you come out the womb and this this just entire world of shit that you have to learn that you never even thought existed you because in your world for it. you huh? gotta think about it at one point all of us we're just he about floating. to say something crazy. Just floating. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Follow me. Okay. We're just floating. We don't really know what we're doing. We just looking at each other. You know, you looking at somebody that look kind of like you. You mm-hmm. looking at somebody that look exactly like you. It's a bunch of people that look just like you, and you're just kind of floating, just vibing, right? Mm-hmm. And then you start moving a little bit. And you're like, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? You don't know what's going on because all you can see is what's in your world. Now hear me out. Hear me out. You you feel some moving. And you're like, oh, you damn. hear some music. Then you feel some vibrating, right? Mm-hmm. And then you feel some pounding. Sudden, bam, bam, bam. All of a sudden, bam. you're just like, and you're just flying. And then you're like, oh, snap. And then there's a little thing with the checkered flag going, and then you're like, oh, I'm in a race. And you're just shake, like going real fast. And you're passing all these people. You, you mind you, you just oh, been wait floating. A minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You just been floating in this wait. stuff. You went back I backed to up. conception. I backed okay, up. Okay, I had you no idea. You were floating, idea. looking at the all these things that look just like you. Now all of a sudden you're in a race to the finish with them, and you're going, zh, 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 and you're like hitting people off to the side. They're crashing, mm-hmm. and then you see this glorious thing. Boom! There it is. You don't know what it is, but you know what it is, right? And we it's all this big old egg. Right? You and I won the race. Ex- that's what I'm saying. We didn't already fought, so that was our world. Right. The balls was our world, and then we boom, 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 boom. First place, first place, blue shell. You m- it misses you, and then boom, you go oh into God. the egg, and then you chill for a second. But right? that's what I'm saying. You're speaking to my point. No, I'm not, because before the balls was the world. Then you just had a, a right. fucking Fast and the Furious race. Now you doing whatever the hell happens when the the, so the sperm goes in point, the thing. So my whole point, my whole point is, you, you don't know what's on the other side because your whole world is this no, that's what i'm saying but, but but you started from the womb i'm telling okay, you by the and time you, went you were in back, the womb but you by still, the time you were in the womb you didn't been through some shit already but see when you was in the balls you probably thought this is it so three you things later you know this ain't it no but you don't though you that's might. the thing because we in this stage knowing there's a next but when we, we die, don't really know what the next but we is. know about it we, we just, don't we know we know this ain't it though we don't do you, know do about know that, the next the next stage do you know that this ain't it some though? people think it's just complete darkness do you know that this ain't it though 
I don't know. How? It's Nobody either death knows. or heaven. Nobody knows. But you know that That's, it doesn't stop you here. You can speculate about anything. You can believe in anything you want. But right. you don't know But you know that there's something. Next. But you know there is a next is my point. You don't, though. You don't know if it's complete darkness. You're going to live forever? No, I'm saying when you die, you don't know if it's complete darkness or but if you go to another planet. Those are both don't next. Know. Those are both con- examples of next. What I'm saying either is... We know that it's either nothing or something, but we know there is a next. So what I'm saying is when you're in the womb, you might be like, damn, all that shit was crazy. I wonder <laughs> what's next. You mm-hmm. don't know. You're about to pull through a pussy and see I a doctor. I don't think that you do in the womb. I'm saying I think in remember. the womb... You might believe that this is your world. You're listening to the music that they put up against the belly, the the voices that they talk through through the belly. You 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 might feel like you know I'm growing. This is my life. She, and you then know what you I come like? out, and then you're like, holy crap! That's why when babies come out, when they open their eyes, it's like. <laughs> but they kn- but they know how to swim. No one ever talks right, about that. Babies right. know how to swim. You know why? Because they, they just swam the a race. The amniotic sac. They just swam and oh went God. and and won a race. The man explaining versus woman explaining. They is just crazy. swam. They first of all, they just swam from the balls to the tip of the shaft. If you're like me, it's a long distance. <laughs> <Ayo. laughs> That's already a couple miles, right? Wait, I'm not about to play with you. Then on top Patrick. of that. <laughs> you go into the pussy. This is new. Which honestly, the the dick shaft was probably new too, because there's everything's no, new. Is my point. That's you don't my know. Point. You just then you go through the pussy and you go up and then you grow into I a cannot. human in the womb. I you know we what I felt like? The episode. You know what? You know what I felt like in the womb? A what fucking you, winner. You have no idea what I you felt, felt like. like a winner. You don't know. What? That's the only thing on my mind. <laughs> You didn't have a mind. My only fucking memory was beating billions and billions of <laughs> other sperm. You didn't have a mind. Shit, you might have been born a loser. I was born a <laughs> I winner. I wasn't. Clearly, I'm here sitting across from you. Well, three facts later, even though we said two. Um, <laughs> here's my fact that's going to be better than yours. Okay, it might be. Here, let me here we go. Fact. It's a that? gooch fact. I'm winning the race. It's a gooch fact. Okay, let me. Give this... me the. Is this? Let me give me the. Give me the gooch. The stitch that runs along the bottom of a man's scrotum, Mm -hmm. which until I read this, I didn't even realize that it was a stitch, but it is. The stitch stitch that runs along the bottom of a man's scrotum Mm -hmm. is the scar of what would have been a vagina. Oh, because we all started out as bitches. We all were bitches. (laughs) And then them them dicks came in. The dicks came in, so then the vagina had to soup itself up. Shoop itself up, and that's the little, the little, uh, you know how the bottom of every ball sack looks so like a leaf. So if I want to lick your pussy, all I have to do is lick, lick the bottom of the and balls. lick the stitch. Lick that. Uh, the it's the ghost of my pussy. <laughs> your fans are gonna have a feel. Wait, wait, wait. What you saying? Wait, man? wait. Let me finish it though. Wait. The stitch that runs along the bottom of a man's scrotum is the scar of what would have been a vagina. That's where the labia fused together when the male hormones kicked in during the embryonic development. Is that why it feels so good when we lick the gooch? So if you want to know what it feels like hey. to receive some head. Hey. <laughs> so that's, that's you might get a little taste of, I mean, you don't get the full thing because licking the clit is minute. just every, everything. So every but time I got my, my, my gooch serviced, I was getting my pussy out. You got, you got your pussy ate out. That's what it feels like for y'all. Big cat energy. I'm a big old fan. You're a big fan? You I'm like a big that? fan. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Hey, l- fellas, next time you're trying to get your box ate, <laughs> just know that the stitch, <laughs> the stitch used to be what made you a bitch. No. <laughs> <laughs> this has been another episode of We Thick Was All Red. Bitches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your co-host Persephone. I'm Patrick Cloud. <laughs> we'll see y'all next time. Hey. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>